Akabaka. Akabaka. I remember that. What? Why are Dread you XP. There? Positively spooky. Positively spooky. Date to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm KidOg618. Today, we are back playing Sucker for Love. Well, this, we're not back. This is the second one. If you remember the first game, we were dating Eldritch Goddesses. We got with Lynetta, uh, Esther, and Auntie Nyan Nyan. Um, I played the demo of this a very long time ago on a live stream, and I was just very excited for it to finally come out. Chapter one, two. Chapter one. A thousand versus the one. A thousand versus the one. I don't know. I really enjoyed the first game, and now we're in the second game. Gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. Unless, of course, your name is uh, what was my name in the first game, dearest. Then I just want those smooches from them. Through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. Unless you get the hand mouth. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is an obscure and perceptible shade, but a tangible madman, that the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. Did something scary happen? Uh huh. Uh huh. The book you're reading. Did something scary happen? Your Hello, odd bookseller. Oh, uh, just a strange dream is all. I'm alright. Sorry, this might just sound strange, but can you tell me where I am? My bookstore in Sacramento. Are you lost? Oh no, I think I know where I'm at now. Thank you. I've been having odd dreams lately, waking up in strange places with no memory of how I got there. Started around the same time folks began vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Despite the size of, or small size of this backwater town, dozens have gone missing this past year. So many that the trains won't even stop here now. Worried locals say they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods, animals with too many features watching, outsiders can't shake the feeling of being watched by the townsfolk's unblinking purple lies. The Sacramento Stare. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you here late on my account. No, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you better hurry home. Of course, odd bookseller. Um, my family fled this place long ago when the disappearances started. But a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. Hey, Stardust, Mom's still pretty shaken up about everything. So I'm taking care of her at Graham's place. If you came by for a visit, I know it would cheer her right up and help her feel better. We miss you like crazy. This is definitely my father's handwriting. Only my parents call me Stardust. Impossible. Mom. Dad. I know you're not really waiting for me. You've been gone for over a year. But whoever sent this note obviously wants me to come poking around, and I am to find out why. There's something strange in Sacramento. The dreams. The stare. The spirits. It's all connected. I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. Stopping in. Take care. Of course. The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step out into the dusk. Sacramento, this should be my hometown, but it's become unrecognizable. The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person posters that litter every surface. They call this Missing Person Lane now. Desperate searchers put posters here before vanishing themselves. It's the only path left and leads straight to my grand's house, but something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. Have I gotten turned around? No. I've walked in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. Stay calm. I pick a direction and jog, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double back. Check walls and addresses. Still lost. M maybe if I check the note from my parents for the address. A grocery receipt? Impossible! I just had their letter. I even kept my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose it. Chicken curry, fried cheeseburger, fried chicken, cheeseburger, beer, water, ketchup, soy sauce, other. What the fuck is other? 
Wait, this receipt has the exact dimensions and folds of the letter. Could I have imagined the whole letter? No, impossible. I checked the back and then double checked the front, but the receipt remains just that. Something is very wrong. I have to get out. I have to. Ow! Oh. Are you like blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutzerama. I'm sorry. Slammed right into somebody coming the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you alright? I should have been more careful. Oh, she is really pretty. Ah, oh, she's an eldritch goddess. I know it. I know it already. Um, but what on earth is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? Touch me. Sorry. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to smack any like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. Oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Wait, huh? Your your boyfriend? Yeah. You heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. Who the heck is Buck? What are all these accusations coming from? I, I don't know anyone named Buck. Uh, oh, really? You don't know told who Buck is? Goddess. Eldritch goddess. You're not like from out of town, are you? Stare. It's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. Nope, I'm good. I can't let her see my eyes. No matter what, she'll notice I don't have the Sacramento stare. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? Uh, uh, I live here. Yeah? Look at me really quick. Nah, I'm alright. This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? Yes. Oh, hello. I freeze. Before I know it, I'm already staring straight at her. Got another one for you at Missing Person Lane. Break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding in my ears can't dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down, but the image on of my face on the next missing post person's poster kicked my legs into action once more. There, a clearing up ahead. If I can break their line of sight, I might find a chance to hide. As I near the turn off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end, or if it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Rounding the corner, I gasp. It's Grandma's house. Thank goodness. I dash up the path and burst through the door. I hold the door shut for what feels like forever as my pulse slows. The pounding footsteps pass by outside. I'm safe. Now. <sighs> hey, what's may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but... This dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? Hello? That's exactly what you want to do if you think someone's in your house. Find your upstairs butterfly. Drainage doesn't see a spider around. Can, can I take it? Can I, can I take? Alright, I'm here... I remember this. It's like a lot more free roamy. So I need to go up to right, pass, and then the second room. So this way. Huh? Family photos look off. None of them have me in it, and my siblings, their faces seem unfamiliar. What are those weird symbols doing here? It's like it's a cult. I wonder if, like, that's a thing. If, like, there could be monsters there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I know. I know. You know what I mean. This way. Yeah. yeah. And then the stairs should be on my right. Aha! I think I know how to read maps. Spin. Hallway. First door. Second door. Lagging. Oh god. Okay. Blood. Oh, that's fine. My room. What on earth happened here? This occult nonsense. Has someone been living in my house? The candles are stit. Whoever. Or st stit. The candles are still lit. Whoever's responsible is just here. But who? Why? This book isn't mine either. No title, no Arthur, and it reeks of death and decay. With trembling fingers, I open it to a random page. 
Seed the Black Woods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human. The beating... What? I read and reread the passage, but it's as plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I reread again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First the stare that only locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods, and now this? The truth dawns on me. Sacramento has been overrun by cultists. All those missing people, my parents, they haven't been spirited away by angry forest spirits, but they've been abducted and I'm next. There must be a way to stop this. I flip desperately through the books, pulsating pages, searching for anything that might help. Summon the All-Mother, a ritual to force the dark deity behind this madness to physically manifest before me, binding her in a form that can't directly harm me. This is it, my chance to end this nightmare once and for all, to face the sinister goddess behind Sacramento's madness, to put a stop to her evil, whatever the cost. For the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to try. I'll bind this All-Mother to a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. This ritual will bind the black goat to a physical form, however, no contact is completely safe. Douse any lit candles. Sick, that was easy. Show sure there's an idol of the black goat somewhere present in the room. Looks like an idol of a goat. Assuming that's the black goat. Have a plant mister with you. Found the plant mister. At certain times in conversations, this icon will appear, and you can spray the speaker by water with water by right-clicking. This will interrupt whatever they're doing. This feature was primarily included in consideration of players who dislike being hit on by older women slash elders abominations. Why would I ever use the mister? You gotta be hit on by them. It's the only way. While facing a tree of the black woods, chant her name. It's probably a tree of the black woods. Roxanne Selva Oscura. You dare summon me again? <laughs> Have your pathetic lives not been Hello. long enough by my gift? How you doing? Hi. Must you continue to try Have my lust not been sated? Oh. Well. <laughs> My heart pounds as an immense towering figure materializes before me. My head is splitting open. I can't think. I can barely breathe with this weight crushing down on me. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne, the black goat of the woods. And you will rue this day. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Roxanne. Madness, given form, shredding my sanity. With each second that passes, it's evil, ancient, and endless peering into the deepest parts of me that were never meant to be seen. to banish her, to send her back before there's nothing left of me, but the words I need won't come. Did I really think I could face a power like this? Stupid, stupid girl. With the last shreds of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came, why I dared this folly. I swallow bile and terror, straighten my spine, grab a candle from this floor, and speak shakily. I'm here to stop you from hurting another soul. I'm sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of one way or another. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never end. She's supposed to be like trying to stop me or something. No, I'm into this. Get me out of here. <laughs> My brow furrows as I stare at her, wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to, you know, want to spread madness and You're whatnot? Confused. Yeah, you want to be exercised. Finished. To your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. I understand. You have so many followers. Followers that just tried to kill me, I might add. Can't they free you instead? Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. 
have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please, help me. My temple. This is tricky. On the one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted forest is devouring this town, and who knows how much further it'll spread if nothing is done. On the other hand, I have serious reservation about helping an eldritch god do anything. All of those missing people posters. She's responsible. She and her cult are pure evil. But for now, we want the same thing. Her gone. Alright, tell me how to do this. Do I just grab any old knife and... Mortal weapons can harm me, child. But they cannot stop me. But that book you carry... It holds the key to my banishment. Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. First things first. You will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust, so many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate, your heart's desire. Um, really? Oh, oh, oh! If you insist. Light the candles. The color of the flame does not matter. Please choose a color you find comforting. Have your choice of aromatic herb. Pick a scent you find pleasant. Are you just hanging out in this room? Hi. Is that a is that an herb? We're gonna find a kitchen. Imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it'll be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Alright, I gotta go find a herb real quick. I'll be right. Wait, everything I need is already in this room. Well, ah, lavender mint. I think the smell of mint. All right. <coughs> oh. Imagining it. Got it. The Renak Yamgepuafnia. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, wow, this is awkward. Wait, <laughs> I can explain. Go ahead. I've got nothing. What's wrong? What is wrong with my taste? <laughs> There's no need to be bashful, especially after all that time you spent playing coy. In view of the circumstances, perhaps I will allow you to be my partner. <laughs> Ah, uh, circumstances permit, I guess. Really, and that's okay with you, even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. But I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. Woo! Oh, it's, it's toasty in here. Besides, I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. <laughs> Roxanne. Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? I thought you were talking to me about just being my girlfriend. You thought the two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? There's three meanings of partners. Cowboys. Joking around while standing so close to me. You should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousand fold. Oh, that's an easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yep. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? And you you aren't with child now? You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. What? I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're not going to help me because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Those that best serve that goal. Receive a fraction of my power. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, physical enhancement, and in some cases, immortality. And those followers 
are the ones looking for you. Ah. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. Well, you said we could change that kids situation together, Roxanne, right? <laughs> Me and you. <laughs> what if I don't want powers or kids? Pissed her off. Taking an involuntary step backwards. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you alright? Fine, don't worry about me. Powers are not. Let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here, okay? Mm. That was freaking scary. She's really taking this hard. I better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Uh, meat from a thing that died. Check the meat rack in the dining room. Milk. Uh, it's in the fridge. Lastly, a receptacle for the blood. Didn't have blood. Sorry. However, we're gonna stop there, as we just met Roxanne, and we are going to. Get that smooch right here. We just gotta get them three hearts and we will succeed. Because I've succeeded in the first game. So we're gonna do it in this one. You know what? I wanna look at all the rituals real quick. Can I do that? I gone. Oh my god. Whoa, that's cool. Let's fatten themselves on us. The dead feed the woods. The living feed the woods. Whose blood the tr Whose blood is the tree bleeding? Ate someone. Good story, bro. Alright, cool. Alright. Now we're gonna stop. Everybody, that was the first episode of Sucker for Love 2 A Date to Die For. Roxanne will be mine, and we will seed the Black Woods, if you know what I mean. Anyways, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. If you liked what you saw, do me a favor and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you next time.